Okay, the next question it says answer the follow following questions regarding features of black body radiation spectrum. Uh, the, ah, the, at what temperature? So this uh, involves some uh, const physical constants that I don't quite have memorized. So I'll have to refer to the textbook. And the hint also has you refer to the textbook for Wien's displacement law. I think it was an Austrian guy. That's why I'm saying Wien. That's the correct pronunciation, not Wien. Um, so Wien's displacement law. Let me uh, look it up and uh, write it down on the side so that I have access to the constants. Um, did I already? I think I already scrolled past it. Um, yeah, so that is the Wien's displacement law. It's a um, it's an experimental law. So uh, he didn't actually. Um, this is not something that was theoretically derived, although it can be theoretically derived once you have Planck law. But for us, we'll just uh, write it down. So the, it's uh, expressing the kind of the uh, inverse proportionality between temperature of black body and the wavelength at which the maximum uh, emission happens uh, or when you just multiply them it's a constant because they're inversely proportional to each other 2.898 times 10 to the minus 3 meter wavelength times kelvin um, the temperature so with that um, available i can just plug numbers into calculator <laughs> um, okay uh, so the peak of black body radiation uh, so so i'm given the the peak wavelength and i'm asked for temperature so i'm going to take this constant and divide by my peak wavelength so my constant is 2.898 times 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by the wavelength 430 nanometer 430 times 10 to the power of minus 9 so it's going to be a large value, yeah, 6,740 Kelvin, 740 Kelvin, um, it's a little bit hotter than our sun. Um, if the temperature of a black body is 820 Kelvin, so that's kind of a moderately hot thing, hotter than household ovens, but not as hot as a red glowing thing. At what wavelength does it radiate the most energy? Okay, so it's the opposite version. We are given the temperature and asked for wavelength. So we'll take the, the constant 2.898 times 10 to the power of minus 3 and divide the temperature 820. And since we are being asked for answer in nanometers, let me just convert this answer in meters into nanometers by multiplying this with 10 to the power of um, 9. So it's going to be 3,530 nanometer. It's a, a wavelength that's well in the infrared. Uh, this is kind of um, something that's at 820 Kelvin. It might start to glow, but it wouldn't be glowing very brightly because most of its radiated energy is in the infrared. And there might be a very tiny tail portion in the red color, which is what our eyes would see. Uh, 820 Kelvin, I don't think it quite glows. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Um, question six. It says, uh, suppose uh, that the tungsten element of an incandescent light bulb operates at this temperature at what wavelength? Oh, so this the so we are given temperature and we are asked for the wavelength. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Take the um, the coefficient, the constant that's there. That's the main thing I you know want us to have memorized. Uh, Two point eight nine eight times ten to the power of minus three divided by the given temperature, 2600 Kelvin. And that's the number in meters. Let me multiply it by 10 to the power of nine to get the answer in nanometers. So um, the peak wavelength happens at uh, 1115 nanometers. 
And that's a kind of the, one of the reasons uh, regular light bulbs are so inefficient. A lot of a majority of its energy is actually emitted in the infrared, not um, not in the visible. And it's kind of amazing just how much more efficient LED lights are. So, okay, let me look at my next question before I get rid of the text. Question seven. Um, ah, yeah. So this appears a little different. But what it will turn out to be is, again, a black body radiation question and still a Vinci displacement law question. And the hint tells you as much. It's, uh, um, so, so let's work it out. We are here, we are given the wavelength and we are asked for the temperature. So let's just plug in the numbers and I'll comment on the number. So the the constant is 2.898 times 10 to the power of minus 3 uh, divided by the given wavelength. So we are given it in millimeters. So it's 1.063 times 10 to the power of minus 3 millimeter. And when I get the answer, it's um, smaller than the numbers we're used to seeing, you know, 2.73 Kelvin. And uh, that is the correct answer. And this is what I mean. Um, the the kind of the CMB cosmic microwave background radiation it fits black body spectrum really well. Black body spectrum of a body that's at this temperature, two point seven three Kelvin. It's a it's cryogenic temperature. This is uh, lower than the the boiling point of a liquid helium. And uh, in fact, I think this is around the wait. Yeah, it's lower than boiling point of helium, but I think it's above the superfluid transition temperature. <laughs> um, uh, and um, even on an object that's at this temperature, it emits electromagnetic radiation with a peak wavelength in the uh, microwave range. That's why it's called the cosmic microwave background radiation. And other than that gigantic shift of wavelength, um, it behaves like uh, black body radiation predicted by Planck. Yeah. So 